You can get the cards you need for today's Budget Magic deck and support the show from this episode's sponsor, Card Kingdom. Just follow the link in the description box down below. Hello, everyone. It's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another edition of Budget Magic. So this week, we are heading to Modern for a deck that takes advantage of Magic's two most recent sets. That is Ultimate Masters making a key card cheaper and also a sweet new Guilds of Ravnica edition. And the deck is Red Black Reanimator. And I might be cheating with a name. I guess it's like sort of Mardu Reanimator, but really it's pretty much Red Black. I don't know, Mardu, Red Black, close enough. Anyway, as you can see, the deck is 99 bucks in the paper world, 19 ticks on Magic Online, so a pretty decent price for a pretty fun deck. A quick reminder before we break down Red Black Reanimator for Modern. If you enjoy this deck and you enjoy Budget Magic in general, it would be amazing of you if you could take a second, click that subscribe button down at the bottom of your screen. It's a great way to support the channel and the site for free. So let's talk some Red Black Reanimator animator and we're going to start off with our reanimation spell so in our deck we have two different reanimation spells number one is footsteps of the gorio which is a really unique reanimation spell it's only three mana which makes it really really cost effective compared to pretty much all the options in the modern format however it comes with a drawback we get to return a creature from our graveyard to play however at the end of our turn we have to sacrifice that creature that said, we have some sweet tricks to actually turn the drawback of Footsteps of the Gorio into an upside, or at least minimize the drawback, but we'll talk about those in a minute. So, Footsteps, three mana reanimation. On Burial Rites, is kind of a double reanimation. We can't just discard on Burial Rites, flash it back for four mana using white mana, or we can cast it from our hand for five mana, cast it again from our graveyard with flashback, getting two reanimations for the price of one. So, question two is, what are we returning with these cards and we have three different options here so option one and two which are actually pretty similar are ashen rider and woodfall primus so ashen rider comes into play exiles a permanent of our choice does it again when it dies woodfall primus uh kind of similar it destroys a non-creature permanent when it comes into play and then it has persists so when it dies it comes back into play with a negative one negative one counter blows up another non-creature permanent and then and we also have Obsidat Ghost Council, which looks a little bit weird. It's only five mana, so you're not getting a huge discount when you reanimate it, but it has some sneaky upside, and it comes with a pretty obvious upside, which is we can actually cast Obsidat. It's very unlikely we're going to get the mana to hard cast Ashen Riders. We're definitely not hard casting Woodfall Primus because we don't even have green mana in our deck, but Obsidat at five mana, we can just make our land drops, kind of play it fairly, and get a pretty good creature out of the deal. So these are are our main reanimation targets and you can kind of see the theme with ashen rider and woodfall primus is reanimation targets that are pretty good creatures five five flyer six six trampler they're reasonable creatures but when they come into play we get to blow up our opponent's stuff and the reason these cards in specific are so important for our deck is they work incredibly well with footsteps of the gorio so what our deck really wants to do is on turn one on turn two get cards in our graveyard get our ashen riders or woodfall primuses and we got a bunch of ways to do this and then on turn three we footsteps let's say we get back ashen rider it comes into play we exile our opponent's best thing maybe even just a land and then at the end of our turn ashen rider dies it triggers again we get to exile our opponent's next best thing so we're exiling two permanents and if we do this on turn three we can potentially just be putting our opponent down to literally nothing on the battlefield getting rid of both of their lands woodfall primus is, is like ashen rider the downside is it can't hit creatures the upside is it actually sticks on the battlefield field it comes into play blows up a non-creature then it dies it comes back with persist blows up another non-creature and we still have a 5-5 trample left over on the battlefield and then obsidat ghost council is a little bit tricky so obsidat at the beginning of our end step we can exile it and if we do it obsidat will go into exile and then at the beginning of our next upkeep it comes into play with haste drains our opponent for more life loss so with footsteps of the gorio if we stack the triggers properly we will instead 
instead of sacrificing Obsidat, we'll exile it to its ability, which basically fizzles the sacrifice power of Footsteps of the Gorio. So Obsidat turns Footsteps into a permanent reanimation spell because it comes back on our next upkeep with haste, starts draining, doing all that stuff. So that's the main plan of the deck. As far as getting cards in the graveyard, we have Faithful Saluting, just one of the best cards in the modern format. Draw two, discard two, turn one, getting cards in our graveyard, we can flash it back. Cathartic Reunion on turn two, we can discard our Ashen Riders, we can discard our Unburial Rites, any of our reanimation stuff, draw a bunch of new cards, hopefully set up our combo reanimation, and then Discovery Dispersal is actually pretty powerful in this deck. We don't have blue mana, so we don't get blue cantrips, but really Discovery lets us potentially just mill two cards, hopefully our big finishers, and dig for our reanimation effects to set up our combo. So this is a way to get the stuff in the graveyard, and otherwise, we got Lingering Souls basically just because we're a graveyard deck. Uh, it is very good against creature-based decks, any sort of grindy decks, control decks. We can mill it over, discard it, flash it back from our graveyard, and it just gives us some flyers to chump block, stay alive, as we're setting up our big, powerful finish, because once we get going and get things set up, we can do some crazy things, where we're just like, uh, get back Asher Rider with footsteps, exile two things, next turn do it again, exile two more things, then we unbury rights, gets back something else, and we just kind of wrath our opponent's entire board with reanimation, so stalling out with Lingering Souls really, really important, along with the free discard value. Otherwise, Dreadboard Terminate, Removal, Anger of the Gods, a Sweeper for Aggro, we can always discard these cards to our Faithful Sujings, Cathartic Reunions, and matchups where they're bad. In the mana base, we get some fast lands, we get a bunch of pain lands, including one of my favorite arts, my new favorite art, I forgot all about this art, the Devil in the Original Sulfur Springs. Oh, just chilling there is so sweet. One of my favorite arts, but Sulfur Springs, Battlefield Forge, Cave of Koilos, some basic lands. In the sideboard, we get a couple of customizable reanimation targets. So, Sire of an Insanity is our answer to decks like Storm, other combo-based decks. So, Sire's pretty weird. At the beginning of our end step, each player has to discard his or her hand. So, we can use this as like a weird symmetrical mind twist. So, let's say we get it back on turn three with footsteps. It is going to die because of footsteps, but before it dies, it's going to make both players discard their hand. This, in theory, means we're going to come out ahead, especially in combo-based matchups, because we got Faithless Lootings. We want cards in the graveyard anyway, so in theory, in top deck mode, we're going to beat our opponent, especially if they're playing a deck like Storm, a deck like Eggs, where it's going to take them many, many turns of redrawing to set their stuff up, and if we manage to reanimate it with Unburial Rites, rather than our Footsteps of the Gorio, it sticks around and is a pretty big body. Blazing Archon, on the other hand, is our reanimation target for creature-based aggro matchups. Uh, if we could get this down against any sort of go-wide deck, especially ones using red removal that can't kill it easily, this could just lock our opponent attacking us out of the game. Kind of our personal ensnaring bridge that we can reanimate. Otherwise, Duress, Wear Tear, Abrade are mostly to protect our combo. Duress can get rid of counter spells, can get rid of graveyard hate. Wear Tear is specifically to deal with Ley Lines of the Void, Rest in Peace, anything that can stop our graveyard, because our deck really needs an active graveyard. We can cast Obsidats, we can try to win through graveyard hate, but really we gotta deal with it to execute our game plan. Abrade can get rid of some Graveyard Hate, also kill creatures, and then Tormod script for opposing graveyard decks, and that is Red Black Reanimator for Modern, and that's our budget magic deck for this week, so this is going to be fun. In theory, when things go well, we could just get flawless victories with this deck and totally smash our opponent. On the other hand, probably have some sketchy matchups as well, uh, even with the Sire of Insanities in the sideboard. Fast combo seems like it can be scary. Little worried about just infinite counterspell blue decks, really ruining our day with Cathartic Reunion and just, like, countering all of our big stuff. So we'll see. Hopefully we do some really explosive, really cool things, because the deck is pretty unique. It's a really fun strategy, and uh, I'm excited to give it a shot. So anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling. Let's get to the gameplay, see if we can destroy our opponent's board with Red Black or Mardu-ish Reanimator for Modern. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy the video, and I'll be back in a bit with a wrap-up. Alright, budge! magic time we are playing some eh, red black slash mardu reanimator in modern eh, blue white control this is gonna be interesting dreadboard is not bad inspiring vantage go endless counter spell is gonna be gonna be a bit of an issue perhaps opponent passes a play a swamp let's discovery 
Graveyard, graveyard. Pass the turn. Well, if our opponent taps down, we get him pretty good with this Woodfall Primus. Tap land. Opponent passes. Anger of the gods, eh? Uh, let's play Sulfurous Springs. Pass the turn. We're going to be patient. Odds of a counter spell too high. Ghost Quarter. Oh, okay. I have never been happier to see my opponent play a Jays. They do get a Brainstorm out of it. But we get to Woodfall Primus, Destroy Jays, Destroy Land. That's pretty good. Yup. Opponent passes. Ooh, and a Lingering Souls. We'll play Cave. Footsteps of the Goryeo. On Woodfall Primus. Comes into play. Get rid of Jace. Pass the turn. Dies. Persists. Yes, please. And we'll get rid of Celestial Colonnade. Ah, okay. So opponent did get a Brainstorm, but that was still a pretty good turn for us. Island. Opponent. Passing. We'll play Battlefield Forge. Get in with Woodfall Primus. And our opponent. Play Lingering Souls. And pass the turn. Opponent ops. No Terminus. That's good. To the bottom. Untaps. Island. Opponent. Passing. We'd love to find, like, a Faithless Looting. Mountain. Well, go attacking. Hit our opponent. <laughs> Condemns Woodfall Primus. Sure. Well. Let's. Lingering Souls. Play the Mountain. Pass the turn. Opponent has Vendillion click. Targets us. Um, yeah, I don't think we really care about Vendillion click. <laughs> we draw into an Unburial Rites. They take the Dread Boar. Well, Unburial Rites is good if we draw a Faithless Looting. Opponent has Detention Sphere. No, well, we're just going to try to terminate that spirit. All right, Fizzle Detention Sphere, mostly. Opponent, gonna get in. Huh, okay. Well, I mean, I guess we take it. I feel like we're winning this race. We'll take three, down to 22. Opponent passes. Well, that's Cathartic Reunion. Discard, discard. Play Battlefield Forge. Unburial Rites. On Ashen Rider. An opponent is done! They're done! They scoop it up! Did not have a counter. Okay. Well, this is our Sire of Insanity matchup. This is our Sire of Insanity matchup. Uh, we will go down a couple Woodfall Primuses for Sire of Insanity. And then we can go down Anger of the Gods for Wear Tears. We also want Duresses. Hmm, how do we make this fit? Go down the Terminate. Uh, maybe we go one Woodfall Primus? Probably can go down a couple... We can probably go down the Obsidats. And... Uh, that doesn't leave us that many reanimation targets, though. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, let's go down one Cathartic Reunion. Actually, maybe we can go down on Burial Rites and keep an Obsidat. I'm a little worried about just not finding a finisher. Well, in this matchup, our dream is... Well, okay... Footsteps and Ashen Riders. His hand's not fast, but we'll keep it. If we can draw a Faithless Looting or something, it can be extremely good. And our opponent's mulliganing. All right, all right, all right. Let's see how this goes. Pwn it. They might be mulliganing for Graveyard Hate. Man, we could use a Faithless Looting type effect. Pwn it passes. Unburial Rites. Well, we have all of our reanimation, but we do not have a way to get things in the Graveyard yet. Pwn it. Tap land. Passes. Obsidat. Well, play Concealed Courtyard. Pass the turn. Well, if we just draw nothing and our opponent just plays like a Planeswalker, that could be bad. Opponent ops. To the top. Untaps. Planes. And passes. Well, play Inspiring Vantage. Ugh. Ugh. Our deck has not cooperated this game. Maybe we should have mulliganed. We have so many ways to get cards in the graveyard, though. It feels worth the risk. Land. Opponent. Passing. Come on, deck. Now play Sulfurous Sprigs. Huh, well, maybe we'll just make our land drops and cast our big stuff. Got him. <laughs> Phone it. Snapcaster for opt. I mean, next turn we get to run out an Obsidat, I guess? That's something. It's not exciting compared to having drawn a Faithless Looting. Opponent opts to the bottom. Draws a card. Untaps. Land. Ancestral Suspended. 
opponent. Getting in, yeah. Well, Ancestral's gonna undo that mulligan eventually. We need to get stuff going before that. Opponent passes. I'll play Sulphurus Springs. Play Obsidat. Opponent's got Cryptic. Pass the turn. Yeah, this draw's been super awkward. Opponent untaps. Ancestral ticking down towards our demise. Field of Ruin. Opponent. Gets in with Snapcaster, down to 15. Sure. Passes. We draw another land. Well, okay. Let's... <laughs> this has been the most awkward draw. Unburial rights Obsidat. Resolves. Drains our opponent. Opponent has a path. Well, grab a swamp. Go up to 17. Play Inspiring Vantage. Pass the turn. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Well, I guess we're to the point where if we just draw an untapped land, we can start casting Ashen Riders, which... I mean, that's something. This Ancestral is coming down, and it is going to kill us, but that is a thing. Rest in peace. Well, good thing we're on the Hardcast Ashen Rider plan. <laughs> Actually, we have a wear tear for that, so it's not the end of the world. Opponent gets in. Yep. Down to 15. Passes. So let's tear Rest in Peace. Play Lingering Souls. Flash back Lingering Souls. Pass the turn. Well, our deck is overloaded with explosive draws. <laughs> Hopefully we find one before this Ancestral comes down and refills our opponent's hand. Opponent. Ancestral, down to one. So our opponent gets to draw a ton of cards next turn. Which is going to mean counters. Which means this would be a good turn to draw something. Uh-oh. Jace. Well, that's not ideal. Brainstorms with Jace. Well, in theory, our spirits get to kill Jace. <laughs> Somehow we have not drawn any way to get cards at our graveyard. Opponent. Gets in. Well, we gotta take this. Yep. Down to 13. Combat. Really? Well, everything at Jace. I don't know if I've ever had a more awkward draw. <laughs> we haven't hit a... <laughs> This is our deck working at its least optimal capacity. And uh and I think we're gonna lose because of it. Woodfall Prime is, is literally the worst draw on our deck there. A land at least lets us hard cast an Ashen Rider. Ponus back up to seven cards it had. And this is about as awkward as awkward gets, Ghost Quarter. Opponent. Detention Sphere. Gets rid of our spirits. Yeah, I think we're we're probably gonna lose here. Wow. That was unbelievably awkward. This run in. Opponent gets in with Snapcaster down to 11. They gotta have infinite counters left over. Well, alright. Cathartic Reunion. Discard Woodfall Primus. Discard Ashen Rider. Opponent lets it resolve. Well, let's. Let's go second main phase, since our opponent has mana floating. And then. Unburial Rites Ashen Rider? Get rid of Colonnade. Opponent votes mana. Paths Ashen Rider. Well, we will grab a land. Play Concealed Courtyard. Pass the turn. Opponent. Gets in with Snapcaster. Down to nine. Okay. Teferi. Well... In theory, Footsteps on Woodfall Primus will hopefully stop this. Hollowed Fountain untapped. Untap some lands. Yup. Well, we will Footsteps of the Goryeo on Woodfall Primus. Opponent's gonna Cryptic. Yup. Well, Footsteps of the Goryeo on Woodfall Primus. Blow up to Fairy. Go to the end of our turn. Woodfall Primus dies. Returns. Blow up Hollowed Fountain. Pass the turn. This has been the slowest draw in history, and it's kind of working. Colonnade. Opponent. Search for Iskanta. Well, let's tear Search for Iskanta. Opponent lets it go. Duress our opponent. Take the Spell Snare. White, white, black, black, whatever, 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 whatever. 
What's in our opponent's hand? Snapcaster Field of Fruid. All right, so hardcast Ashen Rider. Get rid of the Colonnade. Opponent. Snapcaster. Well, opponent's down to just a Field of Fruid. Four Path the Exile. Path the Exile. Takes down Ashen Rider. Well, grab a Swamp. Pass the turn. No attacks, no attacks. Pout it. Combat. No attacks. Well, let's Ashen Rider. Eat a... Hmm. Yeah. Let's go Snapcaster. Get in with Woodfall Primus. Opponent takes it. <laughs> Down to 11. Untaps. Land. Ops. To the bottom. Draws. All right. And passes. I'll go to combat. Attack, attack. Opponent. Ops. Looking for a miracle terminus. Takes it. Well, let's Lingering Souls. Pass the turn. All right, opponent, you need something. And even if they find a sweeper, we have reanimation and Lingering Souls in our graveyard. And opponent scoops it up. Take it down, control, take it down, control, Red Black Reanimator. Well, I have to say, ah, uh, that last hand was literally as slow as it gets. It does not get any worse than that hand, and... We still managed to win. Huh. I mean, our opponent did do some mulliganing, which helped. But they also had Rest in Peace and Ancestral. So, well, uh, we'll take it. We'll take it. Sweet. All right. Budget magic time. We are playing some Red Black Reanimator. And we got the reanimation, but we got nothing uh, to facilitate it. So we're going to mulligan that one. This hand is better. Hmm. I mean, I guess we keep Faithless looting. This hand does a good job at stocking the graveyard. We got a removal spell. Eh, all right. Opponent did win the die roll. Verdant Catacombs. All right. And passes. And let's just Concealed Courtyard go. I think we'd rather Cathartic Reunion discarding, um, discarding the Faithless Suiting than just Faithless Suiting here. Over on Tomb for our opponent. Tapped. Black Leaf Glyphs. And Tarmogoyf. Well, that's going to start growing. We draw a mountain. Well, play the mountain. Let's just... Discovery. See if we can mill one of our big threats. Would be great. Hmm. Graveyard. Graveyard. Draw land. Pass the turn. Well, we didn't mill a big threat. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay. Opponent. The Goyf's getting bigger. Opponent draws, and combat, gets in with Goyf, down to 17, sure, tap land, and scavenging ooze, okay, well, we will faithless looting, discard Woodfall Primus, and, hmm, I guess a cathartic reunion, play inspiring vantage, kill ooze, pass the turn. All right, so we got Woodfall Primus coming. We'll see. We'll see what our opponent has here. We get to start attacking the mana. Ashen Rider would have been nice to deal with the Tarmogoyf, but... I mean, I guess our opponent could have a second ooze. That would be... That would be a disaster. Opponent, Goyf. Gets in for four. Yup. Down to 13. And Dark Confidant. Opponent passes. Oh, man, there's our Ashen Rider. All right, so I think our plan is play Sulphurous Springs. Unburial Rites, Woodfall Primus. Blow up Raging Ravine. Pass the turn. And in theory, next turn we can Cathartic Reunion, discard Ashen Rider and something, and then immediately footsteps it to just basically clear the board. That's the hope. And I mean, we have a 6-6. Six -six. That our opponent can't really kill very easily. Catacombs. And we're still at 13. We're definitely in this one. Even with the ooze. 
opponent cracks catacombs. All right, let's do. Oh man, Liliana tick up would be so sweet. Liliana, oh, tick it up and let us discard this Ashen Rider. Ticks up. Okay. Well, uh, I say we will discard an Ashen Rider. Opponent discards a Fatal Push. Passes. And let's play it safe. Let's just footsteps Ashen Rider. Kill Tarmogoyf. Woodfall Primus. Attack Liliana. Pass the turn. Ashen Rider dies. Kill Dark Confidant. And all right, opponent. What do you got? What do you got? Opponent. Tapping, untapping. Dark Confidant, number two. Sure. We draw Ashen Rider. Well, let's just cathartic reunion. Discard Ashen Rider and White White. Hmm. And the Mountain. Play a Swamp. Lingering Souls. Get in with Woodfall Primus. Hit our opponent. Down to 12. Pass the turn. Dark Confidant gives our opponent a land. And I think we're in pretty good shape. We are in pretty good shape. Thoughtseize. Gonna take the Ashen Rider. Down to 10. Is that game? Are we just crushing Jund? And opponent scoops it up? No answer, no answer. Okay. That was good. That is what our deck wants to be doing. That is exactly, exactly it. All right. Uh, so against Jund, our main concern is answering Graveyard Hate. Maybe we, like, bring in a Braid. Go down Anger of the Gods. What else do we want? Probably need Wear Tears. They could have something like Leyline in the Void. Bring in two Wear Tears. Maybe go down another Anger. I think Anger is pretty hit or miss. I mean, I guess it kills a lot of non-Goyf creatures. And let's go down one Unburial Rites. Hmm. Let's go down Woodfall Primus for one more Wear Tear. Go three Woodfalls. Try it like that. All right. We got a plan. We got a plan. Well, good news is we're, we should be pretty resilient to discard. Bad news is Graveyard Hate can definitely be a problem. Eh, we're going to keep this. We'll keep. We have Nut Draw Potential. Wooded Foothills. Opponent cracks it. Blood Crypt. Untapped. And Thoughtseize. Well, taking our Discovery Dispersal does slow us down a lot. Because we don't even have red mana to draw Faithless Looting. So this does really slow us. Wow, takes a Footsteps. Interesting. Opponent passes. Well, Conceal Courtyard. Go. They must have another discard spell. That makes the most sense. We really need to resolve this this discovery dispersal. Forest. And a Goyf. All right. All right. All right. Opponent passes. Oh, oh, we drew the Ashen Rider. Play Concealed Courtyard. Discovery. Graveyard Cathartic Reunion. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we got to keep Discovery. Pass the turn. Opponent. Combat. Gets in with Goyf. Down to 17. Yep. Overgrown Tomb. Tapped. And passes. Well, alright. Well, we gotta hit a land. Discovery. Graveyard, graveyard. Yikes. Well, there's a swamp. That is technically a land. Still no red mana, though. Alright, opponent. Untaps. Hmm. The lack of red mana is really giving us issues. Gets in with the goif. Yup. Down to 14. Land. Goif. Uh, well, Lingering Souls, pass the turn. Yikes, this mana situation's probably going to be the death of us. Oh, we had everything we needed. We just, we just could not find, ugh, could not find red mana to get stuff in the graveyard. Opponent. Combat. Attacks. Well, we will chump, chump a goyf. We got to keep our life total high. Down to 11. Wow, another goyf. Stomping grounds. Tapped. We draw. Hmm. Well, lingering souls go. Yeah, I think this is just game. This is very, very awkward here. Ugh. We did a lot of surveilling, and we just could not hit our land drops. That is unfortunate. That is very unfortunate. Man, with a red source, this hand would have just absolutely ate up our opponent's 
deck slash board. But as it is, I don't think we can survive. That's the problem. Uh, with Triple Goyf, even if we draw a red source this turn, we're still going to just die. Oh, all right. Yeah, that does it. Pony has a Maelstrom Pulse. Oh, boy. Our deck really betrayed us on that one. That was that was a brutal one. Our opponent didn't have Graveyard Hate. We just... Whoo! Whoo, whoo, whoo! A little bit rough with the run-in. Well, we get to play first. All right. I mean, we're going to keep it. The bad news is turn one thought sees on Cathartic Reunion really slows us down. This would be much better if this is a Faithless Looting. Concealed Courtyard, go. So uh, I guess we're hoping our opponent doesn't have it. We do have reanimation in hand for the future. Opponent, untaps, black leaf clips, and discard. It's a thought seize. So I expect our opponent to take Cathartic Reunion. Our hand doesn't do anything if they take Cathartic Reunion. They do. All right, come on, some looting effects. Eh, Discovery Dispersal works. Well, this would be a good time to surveil something big into the graveyard. Or two lands. Pass the turn. Ugh. Oh, that was the worst. The worst! Ah, deck! Oh, I feel like this is a good matchup for us, and we're just running incredibly awkwardly. Vote it. Forest. And there is the Goyf. We draw a wear tear. Well, play the mountain. Pass the turn. Oh, this is very frustrating. Opponent. Combat. Uh-huh. Gets it. Down to 17. Twilight Mire. Scavenging Ooze. Well, I mean... Kill the Ooze. Opponent eats something. We draw. Discovery Dispersal. Well, let's... Discovery. Graveyard and top. Play all for a Springs. Pass the turn. Oh, opponent. Opponent, opponent. Combat. Gets in with Goyf. Yup. Down to 13. Goyf. Tap land. Passes. Well, there's a Woodfall Primus. Cathartic Reunion. Discard Woodfall Primus on Burial Rites. Ugh, play the Mountain. Footsteps, Woodfall Primus. Blow up Raging Ravine. Go to the end of turn. Dies. Returns. Blow up Black Cleave Cliffs. Pass the turn. Pwn it. Vernon Catacombs. Cracks it. Stomping Grounds. Untapped. Dreadbore. Yup. Pwn it. Gets in. Huh. <sighs> Down to five. I'll play Faithless Looting. Discard and discard. Unburial Rights Ashen Rider. Eat a Goyf. Play Concealed Courtyard. Pass the turn. Pwn it. A taps. I'm a little worried about getting burnt out. Pwn it passes. Well, Unburial Rights Woodfall Primus. Blow up Stomping Grounds. Pass the turn. Mm. Get in with Ashen Rider. Pass the turn. Oh, we're so close. We're so close. Pwn it untaps. And land. Fulminator. Okay. Ponent. Passes. Well, let's go for the for the win. Faithless looting. Discard discard lingering souls get in with ashen rider hit our opponent pass the turn uh, this is it this is it this is it opponent cracks so they need like <sighs> they need they need something like bloodbraid elf into maelstrom pulse or I guess they could draw... Well, they can't double Lightning Bolt. And Pose scoops it up! And we got there! We got there! Taking down Judd! And that's the power of the deck! That's the power of the deck! When things 
come together and we're not playing counter spell decks. <laughs> oh, the deck can do really powerful things and just grind people out. That's one of the most expensive decks in the modern format. And we just stuck it to him. Stuck it to him with Red Black Reanimator. Sweet, sweet, sweet. All right. Budget magic time. We are playing some red black reanimator, and we're gonna have to mulligan this one. All right, this will keep, although I'm not excited about it. Discovery dispersal is good. Inspiring vantage go. So I mean, uh, discovery dispersal can help. We could use like a faithless looting type effect. Opponent passes. We'll play sulfurous springs, and let's just discovery. Um. Hmm. Graveyard and Graveyard. All right, there's Faithless Looting. That's helpful. Pass the turn. That's one of the cards we were looking for. Opponent. Island. And passes. We'll play a Swamp. And let's just Lingering Souls. Pass the turn. Opponent thinks twice. What are they playing? Teamer, teamer something. Well... Let's Discovery, Graveyard, and Top. Play a Swamp. Go to Combat. Attack. Flashback Lingering Souls. All right, opponent counters. Well, pass the turn. This could be a Scape Shift deck. The counters are a concern. Sulfur falls for our opponent and passes. Well, go to Combat. Attack. Let's... Huh. Let's Faithless Looting. Discard, discard. Faithless looting. Discard, discard. Lingering souls. Play Inspiring Vantage. Pass the turn. Well, gonna be about... Alright, opponent thinks twice. It's gonna be about resolving a reanimation spell. I don't know how likely that is, but that's what this game is shaping up to be about. Opponent passes. Discards to hand size. Land. Well, go to combat. Attack. Let's Unburial Rites Ashen Rider. Opponent has Snapcaster Remand. Alright, staying alive. Staying alive. Yep. Well, Faithless Looting. Discard Ashen Rider. Discard Lingering Souls. Pass the turn. I'm still worried about just getting janked out by Scape Shift. That's my main concern here. Opponent. Land. Huntmaster of the Fells. Okay. This would be a good turn to draw land. Opponent gets in. Down to 16. Well, let's... Footsteps on... Hmm. Footsteps on Ashen Rider. Wow. Not drawing a land might be the death of us, honestly. Lingering Souls. Go to combat. Attack. Uh, yeah, we might lose because we didn't draw a land, which is a painful way to lose. Opponent untaps. Raging Ravine. Combat. Gets in with Snapcaster and the Wolf. Well, kill Snapcaster. Take two. Opponent passes. Huntmaster. Gonna flip, kill something, and damage us. Yup. <sighs> well, let's Lingering Souls. And Lingering Souls. Go to combat, attack. Hit our opponent, down to six. All right, all right, what do you got, opponent? You get to flip. Go up to eight. So we don't win this turn. Scalding Tarn. Fires up Raging Ravine. Attacks, attacks. Gets a counter. I mean, we chump. Yup. Opponent gets to flip. Kill something. Uh-huh. Down to eight. Opponent cracks Scalding Tarn. Island. Vendillion click gets to take on burial rites. Well, cathartic reunion. Discard, discard. And our deck betrayed us, and now we lose. Faithless looting. Discard, discard. Wow. I can't believe we're losing this. Hmm. Four. So we need to take four. Block, 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 block. Wow. Yeah, that does it. What a way to lose. What a way to lose. Pass the turn. Ravager flips. Wow. Opponent. Yep. Untaps. Steam vents. 
tapped. Raging Ravine, opponent, gonna go attacking. Well, I mean, chump, block, block, drop to six, Huntmaster flips. Yep. We draw nothing. We will Faithless Looting. And Ravager is flipped and we're dead. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Well, that was a lot of a lot of counter spells. And then right when we had it locked up, our opponent also managed to have Huh. Also managed to have a uh a Vendillion click. That was a frustrating way for that one to go, I will say. Well, let's bring in two Sire of Insanities. Go down to Woodfall Primuses. Go up to your Braid. Go down one Obsidat, one Unburial Rites. Go up a Wear Tear. And I guess Duresses also seem good. We can go down a Cathartic Reunion, I guess, for a Duress. Maybe we go one one would fall run it like that oh wow we were right on the edge of winning that game i mean it didn't work out unfortunately but we were super close all right well this hand's fine i mean if our opponent has infinite counter spells not fine enough but you know, let's mountain and faithless looting discard two ashen riders pass the turn steam vents tapped well, there's Battlefield Forge. We will Cathartic Reunion. Discard on Burial Rites. Discard Lingering Souls. Whiff on Lands. Ha, huh, that's impressive. Island for our opponent. We draw. Not a land. Well, this is a... A comedy of errors here. Well, this is going to get countered, and we're going to get wrecked. All right. Well, didn't get countered. Pass the turn. <sighs> Pout it. Thanks twice. Breeding pool. Tapped. Well, I mean, we're going to go for it. Footsteps. Ashen Rider. Opponent has the counter. Well, pass the turn. Opponent. Loot house. Passes. A play caves. Footsteps. Ashen Rider. Opponent. Has the counter. Well, pass the turn. Island for our opponent. Okay, so let's duress our opponent. Take the remand. Footsteps. Ashen Rider. If they think twice into a counter, I'm going to puke. Come on. All right, Ashen Rider resolves. Get rid of the red mana. Opponent floats mana. Okay, pass the turn. Opponent thinks twice. Sure. End of turn, Ashen Rider dies. Get rid of the breeding pool. Yup. That's what we want to be doing. Opponent. Tap land. Well, let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Play Sulfurous Springs. Footsteps. Ashen Rider. An opponent has had enough. Who fighting through the counters. It's possible to fight through the counters and absolutely just wreck our opponent. So, all right. All right, all right. That was better. That was better. The duress was key. Maybe we need another one. Hmm. Can we find room for another duress? How can we make it work? Maybe we just go two angers. Anger's a little hit or miss. Three duresses? All right, try it like that. Try it like that. All right. That's how we're trying to do it. Ugh. So many counterspell matchups. Bonet. On the play for game three. Well, okay. We'll keep this. It's not an explosive reanimation hand, but we have a removal spell. We have a lingering souls. Bonet. Suspends Ancestral. Now, that's annoying for the long game. Inspiring Vantage, go. Opponent. Ancestral taken down. Sulfur falls. And passes. Well, Inspiring Vantage, go. Ancestral taken down. Cavern of Souls. Hmm. <laughs> okay. On Human. Graph Digger's Cage. Now, Play Caves. Graph Digger's Cage is a major annoyance at the moment. Lingering Souls. Opponent has a Mana Leak. If our opponent didn't have this Ancestral suspended, I would feel pretty good about where we're at, but with Ancestral coming down next turn, I do not feel good at all. Opponent. 
We have two answers to Graph Digger's Cage in our deck. Opponent passes. And we are really good at drawing footsteps with this Graph Digger's Cage out while lingering souls. Resolves. All right, we resolve something. Now our opponent gets to refill their hand, though. Thanks twice. Eh, that's a, that's a combo with your Graph Digger's Cage. <laughs> Wombo combo. <laughs> Uh, I mean, we're probably going to lose to this Graph Digger's Cage, so we got to take pleasure in in the little things. Like our opponent not being able to flash back this thing twice. Hinterland Harbor. Opponent passes. Well, go to combat. Attack. Um, yeah, I mean, we will Lingering Souls. Nothing else to do here. Opponent, with a handful of goodies, has remand. All right, pass the turn. I do take some pleasure in the fact that our opponent is all in on Snapcasters and Think Twices and is playing Graph Digger's Cage. That does make me a little bit happy. <laughs> Actually, a lot happy, because that seems not not that good. Well, we draw a mountain. Go to combat. Attack. Opponent takes it. Lingering Souls. Okay, opponent found a Cryptic. Well, pass the turn. Hopefully they have a handful of Snapcasters and Think Twices. That would be fitting. Sulfur Falls. Opponent, passing. I'll go to combat. Attack. Our hand does literal nothing. Opponent, down to 12. Pass the turn. To Fairy. Okay. That's a thing. Land. Gets it. Opponent, passes. I'll go to combat. Attack. Two angers is... This draw is so weird. Well, I mean... Dreadboard to fairy. Attempt to. Opponent remands. Alright, well, pass the turn. We can't recast it. We don't have a second black source. Flashes in a Huntmaster. Yeah, this one's looking pretty over, boys and girls. Up to 12. Crack Scalding Tarn. Well, I gotta say... I was not expecting our opponent's... Mono Graveyard deck to be playing Graph Digger's Cage. They got us with that one. <laughs> Still not sure about the, the deck building strategy, but it's working this time, and we are going to lose because of it, 100%. So, I guess it's correct? <laughs> it looks a little awkward on paper, after what we've seen of our opponent's very graveyard-centric deck, but it's working. And our opponent drew a million counter spells, and, and that's just the game. Obsidat, can't cast it. Our budget mana is coming into play a little bit too, and we'll scoop it up. All right, budget magic time. We are playing some red black reanimator in modern, and I mean, we'll give this a go. We'll try it, we'll try it. All right, opponent's playing Tron. So this means we need to reanimate one of our land destruction things pretty quick here. Let's Faithless Looting off a of mountain. Uh, double lands. That's not great. Discard, discard. All right, pass the turn. Opponent, cracks Chromatic Star. Losing the die roll does put us under additional pressure in this matchup. We'd really like to win game one. Opponent finds a Blooming Marsh. Plays Blooming Marsh. Oh, you gotta be kidding. Main deck Relic, exiles a Sulfurous Spring. Well, that's not good. Well, play Caves of Coilos. I mean, I guess we just Lingering Souls. Uh, I assume this main deck relic means the game is over. Opponent exiles our Faithless Looting. Yep. I mean, we can just hope our opponent whiffs, but... Tron is... yeah, finds another Tron piece. Yeah, main deck relic is super bad news. Opponent. <laughs> okay, that's not the hand that you want to face when you're playing Red Black Reanimator, that's for sure. There is our answer. It just doesn't actually answer anything. So we will Lingering Souls. Opponent gets to exile it. We go attacking. I mean, we're just hoping against hope that somehow somehow our opponent whiffs for many turns and we're able to uh, to steal the win. Hit our opponent. But main deck, two main deck relics is not... That is not an ideal outcome. Chromatic Sphere. Opponent cracks it. Green. And Tron has been assembled. Oh, modern. I don't know about modern these days. <laughs> it is the land of dying on turn three. Expedition map. Cracks it. 
gets a tower. Opponent passes. Well, let's cathartic. Uh, let's cathartic Ryu. Discard Anger. Discard Woodfall Primus. Stuff that doesn't do much with uh with these relics. Sure, opponent's gonna do some exiling. Stuff that doesn't do anything with these relics out anyway. Yep, yep. You exiled everything. We draw some cards. Well, play a mountain. Cathartic Reunion. Discard Concealed Courtyard and Battlefield Forge. Draw some cards. Go to combat, attack. I mean, we're just hoping our opponent has nothing. I don't think it's a, a realistic hope, but it's a hope. They have many redraws as well. Opponent, up to Tron Plus here. Gonna, gonna do some exiling. If our opponent proceeds to crack the relics, I don't really understand why people do that. Tower. That's a new Lamog. All right. Well, that does it. All right. All right. All right. Hmm. Well, uh, against Tron, a braid seems good. Wear tear is probably necessary. Terminate doesn't do much. Anger of the Gods does nothing. Lingering Souls is not actually very relevant. Winning with one ones not not an actual realistic plan. And let's bring in the sires. I mean, basically. We need to destroy their lands. That's the that is the game. That is the entire game. We get to play first. All right. I mean, if they don't have a relic, this hand should be able to beat our opponent. If they have a relic, then this hand doesn't do much. Discard Woodfall Primus, Unburial Rites. Pass the turn. Come on, no relics. No relics, no relics. Tower. Chromatic Sphere, that's not a relic. Opponent passes. Well, play Sulphurous Springs. Cathartic Reunion. Discard Faithless Suiting Cave. Pass the turn. All right, I mean, we get to reanimate next turn and blow up two, come on, no. No relic, no relic. Cracks. Ancient Stirrings. Relic. Tower. Relic. Okay. Well, Relic doesn't actually beat us here. So we will exile Cathartic Re- Untap, play Concealed Courtyard, Footsteps of the Goryeo, on Woodfall Primus, blow up Relic, go to our end step, Primus dies, returns, blow up Tower, pass the turn, opponent, Chromatic Star, and passes, okay, okay. Uh, so we will Faithless Looting, Discard Woodfall Primus. Discard Sulphurous Springs. Go to combat. Attack. Hit our opponent down to 15. Play Cave. Pass the turn. Opponent. Cracks the star. Adds a green. And scoops it up? Okay. 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 Through a relic. Through a relic. So we have we have possibilities. We have possibilities. It's possible. It's possible. It's possible. Um, let's go down and obsidat for a duress. Obsidat for a duress. And lingering souls for a duress. Run it like that. All right. What do you got, opponent? We'll keep it. It's not an insane hand, but it's a it's a hand tower. We'll see how great of a start our opponent has. Inspiring vantage. Go. Opponent untaps. Oh dear. Oh dear, it looks like they got the Tron hand. Opponent passes. Hmm. I'll play a Swamp. Discovery. Graveyard, Graveyard. Draw another Wear Tear. Pass the turn. All right. Uh, all right, opponent. Good time to not have it. Good time to not have it. Opponent cracks. Add green. Yep. Untaps. Forest. Well, that's not Tron, at least. Opponent passes. Uh, so. Play Inspiring Vantage. Cathartic Reunion. Discard on Burial Rites. Discard the Mountain. Pass the turn. Opponent. Untaps. No Tron. No Tron. Draws Tron. Well, that's unfortunate. Chromatic Star. Cracks it. Adds Black. World Breaker. Exiles our Black Source. Well, that slows us down. Opponent passes. Well, that's Faithless Looting. Discard and discard. Sulphurous Springs. For Discovery. 
graveyard graveyard uh, hoping tron doesn't have it is is never a great plan opponent land gets in with world breaker okay i'll play a planes unburial rights hmm would fall primus blow up tower pass the turn i mean we have a chance we put our opponent off tron opponent untaps please do not redraw it sanctum opponent passes okay well i think what we do here is first we faithless looting discard land discard land attack with woodfall primus actually there's not any reason to attack is there do not attack with woodfall primus oh i'm wondering if we have to kill our own woodfall primus the problem is then we could lose to world breaker the problem is our opponent could easily reassemble tron yeah we're gonna do it kill woodfall primus comes back blow up power plant so our opponent's forever away from from tron chromatic sphere cracks it sylvan's crying all right getting closer getting closer power plant opponent no attacks footsteps is a good draw that's a very good draw so we will footsteps ashen rider exile world breaker play sulfur springs go to combat attack hit our opponent i think we're doing it i think we're taking down tron i think we're taking down tron opponent down to 15 ashen rider dies get rid of that well what do we have dead so far yeah let's hit power plant sure and now sire of insanity seals the deal seals the deal oh tower sure that's fine well we get in with primus hit our opponent yep play concealed courtyard play sire of insanity pass the turn hands gone and that should do it that should do it ulamogs and nature's claims and a post scoops it up and taking down tron taking down tron we got there we got there oh red black reanimator oh man oh man and match in game one i was so worried with double relics but then we beat a relic in game two and just destroyed our opponent in game three that was good that was pretty good whoo sweet 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 all right red black reanimator time here on budget magic and ooh, okay well the first hand was horrible this hand has a faithless looting nothing can be too bad when you have a faithless looting scalding tarn opponent passing Ugh, passing all right so control storm arc light phoenix many possibilities well inspiring vantage faithless looting discard lingering souls discard a mountain pass the turn opponent what are they up to crack scalding tarn steam vents tapped eh, probably a good chance it's control island okay it's storm and we're probably dead probably very dead not a great matchup to lose the die roll in obsidat well play sulfur springs discovery well looting graveyard footsteps top i'm pretty sure we just literally die this turn though usually that's what happens when your opponent untaps with electromancer opponent this is a pretty sweet sire of insanity matchup though that can get them that can get them especially on the play that can definitely get them all right metamorphos term visions well let's see if we're just literally dead here on turn three or more figuratively dead basically they need a pass in flames or gifts ungiven and they win ritual all right that's a good side whoa <laughs> double ritual same events untapped and empty okay that's many goblins that's still most likely enough that we're just dead well i guess oh oh okay well we might be drawing live to anger the gods off the top assuming our opponent doesn't hit something off this bastion flames all right empty yep many more goblins so we need to hit a we just need to top deck anger this exact turn and then we have a game then we actually might be favored all right opponent gets in for two well that's our draw that's our draw come on anger off the top 
Down to 17. I mean, that's just the game. Opponent passes. Anger? Obsidat. All right. Well, now we're dead. Well, that's just a turn three storm kill. No big deal. <laughs> All right, so Sire of Insanity in. Tormod's Crypt in. Duress in. Uh, Woodfall Primus out. Lingering Souls out. Obsidat out. A braid. Eh, a braid in. Obsidat out. All right, that's the plan. I don't think we're going to wear tear. Not super worried about them bringing in Graveyard Hate. We get to play first. Ugh. Man, this hand is awesome minus lands. Okay, we got a Faithless Looting and a Tormod's Crypt. Those are two cards that we want ish. Um, well, I guess we keep Discovery Dispersal. So, Southler Springs, Faithless Looting. Discard. Man, that's a lot of Ashen Riders. Discard Ashen Riders. Pass the turn. We would rather have one of them be... Hmm. We would rather have one of them be a Sire of Insanity. That's our best reanimation here. Although, turn three, Rider, Exile, two lands is... Uh, Exile lands is still good. Two lands is still good. Misty Rainforest for our opponent. Yup. And passes. We draw... Cathartic Reunion. Well, that's Caves of Coilos. Cathartic Reunion. Discard Ashen Rider. Discard Discovery Dispersal. Play a Tormod Script. Pass the turn. Well, we didn't find any reanimation. When it cracks Misty. Just top decking footsteps would be the best. Spire Bluff Canal. Opponent. There's Brawl. Well, removal for Brawl would also be fine. Opponent passes. Footsteps is the best, though. Cathartic Reunion. Well, Cathartic Reunion. Discard the two lands. Oh, there's Sire. Play Cave. Play Tormod's Crypt. Pass the turn. Well, let's see if two Tormod's Crypts is enough to keep us alive. Opponent. Combat. Gets in with Brawl. Sure. Down to 16 passes well that's faithless looting discard sire discard faithless looting play T tormod script number three. Oh, we could use a duress hmm do we actually need the third one let's just play swamp i mean if if two tormod scripts are not enough three probably are not either we'd like to save some stuff to discard to faithless looting yeah, let's just pass with two. Two is good. Opponent. Ritual. Gifts ungiven. Well, at least our opponent had to spend some resources on this. Mill remand. Mill opt. We want our opponent to have to spend their mana main phase if we can, if we can help it. Because our dream scenario here is footsteps this, this sire of insanity. Wipe hands, wipe graveyards, and then we probably are favored. Opponent. Serum Visions. Two to the bottom. Sleight of hand. Spire Bluff. Hmm. Opponent still could have remand. Opponent passes. All right. We untap. Ooh. I like this. So let's duress our opponent. Ooh, no remand. Okay. Hmm. But many metamorphoses. Well, take a Manamorphose. Footsteps of the Gorio. On Sire. Opponent's gonna try to spin into a Remand. Hopefully this does not work. Manamorphose. Manamorphose. Oh, please, for the love of God. No, no. There's one in the graveyard already. Okay. Resolves. Well, play the last Tormod script. Whoa! Whoa! Opponent, spit it to win it! Oh, wow. Okay, okay. Well, uh, yeah. That was something. Huh. Okay, opponent, okay. Well, the Desperation Manamorphose actually worked out, unfortunately. That's not good for us. Sleight of hand. The only good news is we know our opponent's hand is overloaded with fairly useless creatures 
That's most of their cards. There's Electromancer. So we know they still have a Brawl and an Electromancer. Their graveyard is offline. They are kind of just beating us down with random dorks, which is not good. Wow, that is an unfortunate way for that to go. Opponent passes. Hmm, a braid doesn't do much. Let's... Faithless Looting. Discard a braid. Discard... Huh. Concealed Courtyard. Play Battlefield Forge. This means we're, we're a land away from hardcasting Sire of Insanity. Which is even better than reanimating it with footsteps. Opponent. Untaps. Combat. Gets in. Down to nine. Another Electromancer. Opponent passes. That's not the best draw. We're just going to lose to the beatdown. Man, that spin into wipe away. It cost us the game. Wow. Well, that is very unfortunate that that's how that worked out. Very, very, very unfortunate. Opponent gets in for five. We're down to four. And the problem here is now Sire of Insanity doesn't even save us. Island. Opponent passes. Well, let's discovery graveyard graveyard looting whoa inspiring uh that does it wow we needed a lot of things to go wrong in that one <sighs> oh boy well that was interesting uh not a win yikes wow if we had hit an untap land there we still would have probably been in that game with anger the gods Yikes! We needed a lot of things to go really awkwardly to lose that one. Whew, okay. So what did we learn this week about Red Black Reanimator in Modern? And our video matches, we went 3-2, and two, but our overall record, a little bit worse. Uh, it was like 3-5. and five. Basically, played a massive string of blue X control style decks with just like a ton of counter spells, remands, and mana leaks, and cryptics, and spell pierces. And those matchups are really rough, and they all played out pretty repetitively, where it was just like our opponent putting something on the battlefield to attack us and then just countering our footsteps or on burial rights so it just kind of left us with fluff like card draw stuff in our graveyard we can't really cast acid rider or woodfall primus so the matchups were really repetitive and not all that entertaining so i kept recording to try to hit a better variety of matchups but be warned if you pick up black red reanimator mardu reanimator uh, the matchups against the like 8 to 10 to 12 counter spell decks, those are not matchups that we really want to play. And those ones are going to be rough. Even with our sideboard cards, there's just not a great matchup when our opponent has counter spells and pressure. But otherwise, the deck is super sweet. Uh, we saw the awesomeness against like Tron, against Jund, against the one blue white control deck that we did play against. Uh, it was just super spectacular in those matchups. And a lot of decks of the format are going to struggle with Footsteps of the Gorio, reanimating Ashen Rider Woodfall Primus for the double destruction on turn number three. And maybe the biggest upside of the deck is it's super consistent. Having a bunch of Faithless Lootings, Cathartic Reunions, Discovery Dispersals uh, makes it really easy to find what we need. We just have so much redundancy with like eight to ten, I guess, depending on what you think of Obsidat Finishers, eight reanimation spells, twelve ways to fill our graveyard. So it's super consistent at doing what it wants to do. Little unfortunate that what it wants to do can be blown out by Graveyard Hate. Uh, we can be on the battlefield Graveyard Hate pretty easily with our sideboard, and we saw that in our matches. We beat Scavenging Oozes, we beat a Relic of Progenitus, we have the Wear Tears, the Duresses, the Removal Spells, we got ways to deal with that. Surgical Extraction, though, that's a rough one. Uh, Duress can kind of help, but there's definitely a lot of blowout potential. When we go to reanimate, if our opponent can Surgical, like our Ashen Rider, our Woodfall Primus, whatever, then things are pretty rough and go south in a hurry. The other downside of the deck is we do have some sketchiness against fast combo. We saw that in the storm matchup uh, that we played on video. 
uh, against Storm, for example, or other fast combo decks, they don't need that much mana to actually be able to combo off, and they don't put many permanents on the battlefield, plus they could win quicker sometimes than we can start reanimating things. So those matchups can definitely be a bit of a challenge, and I will say, probably my most disappointing moment of this deck altogether was the Sire of Insanity against Storm, where I thought the coast was clear, we did res, but our opponent mana morphosed into an answer. I would have liked to see what happened if we sired away everyone's hands in that matchup. Maybe we would have won that match against Storm, because that is our sweet sideboard tech for those matchups. So, overall, the deck is really fun. It does really cool, explosive things very consistently. Yes, there is risk. It will get blown out by Graveyard Hate sometimes, and uh, counter spells are definitely a concern, and I'm not sure there's an easy way to fix that. I guess, if you're playing a non-budget version of the deck, you can bring more, like, Thought Seizes, Inquisition type effects into the deck, and that might be the way to go. Maybe cut down a little bit on the finishers, play those cards in the main deck. I guess in the budget version, you could do it with Duress, but it really depends. I feel like we mostly just ran into a weird string of matches where we played against Blue Control so often, and uh, including the matches that didn't show up on video. So, anyway, the deck was a blast. It does really sweet, powerful things really, really quickly. If you like getting massive things on the battlefield, maybe picking up flawless victories even, really early in the game, uh, it seems like a pretty reasonable option, uh, especially considering the budget. So, anyway, that's better budget magic for this week. Red, black, or Mardu reanimator for modern. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.